Hello and welcome back to Arab Business. Algeria's central bank said crude oil and natural gas exports fell 1.02% in the first half of 2014, from a year earlier, causing a 1.37% decline in energy earnings. Overall, crude oil and natural gas exports dropped to 51.11 million tonnes of oil, equivalent in the first six months of this year from the same period last year. The country's oil and gas production has stagnated since 2010 due to a decline in exploration activity and a lack of foreign investment. In an attempt to overcome all obstacles facing investors, Egypt is now providing all guarantees that attract domestic and foreign investments, Minister of Trade and Industry Munir Fakhri said during the minister's meeting with a mission from the IMF. The IMF mission is visiting Cairo to identify government economic reform plans and write a report about the Egyptian economy. He, uh, the minister added that the government is working on removing any bureaucratic obstacles and delays in issuing licenses for projects through a one-step procedure. Moving on to Saudi Arabia, where Saudi electricity company, the Gulf's largest utility, has approached France's EDF about taking a minority stake in the French firm's Hinkley Point C nuclear project in Britain. EDF is still researching for additional investors to help fund the £16 billion nuclear project after it received European Commission state aid clearance last month for the support of the British government to guarantee future returns. Dubai is expected to attract higher foreign direct investment this year compared to last year, buoyed by growth across sectors like services and logistics. Fahd Al Girgawi, chief executive of Dubai Foreign Direct Investment uh, Office in the Emirates Department of Economic Development, said the focus on growth coming from uh, mega projects that haven't been announced by the government. He said he expects foreign direct investment in Dubai to grow by 10 to 15 percent this year over last year, but declined to provide his forecast for 2015. And finally, real economic growth of Oman is expected at 4.5% in 2015, mainly driven by a strong non-oil performance averaging 7% as the government's diversification ambitions begin to have an impact, according to a report released by a Kuwait-based bank. The country's real gross domestic product is expected to grow by 4% in 2014 and 4.5% in 2015, driven by a strong non-oil performance averaging 7% over the forecast period as the government's diversification ambitions. And for more updates, please visit our website levant.tv. That was it for today. I'll be back with you tomorrow with some more from the business world in the Middle East.